Paragraphs and writing in a logical sequence. When to change a paragraph. At level 2 in the Functional English Assessment, you should show that you can write in paragraphs. Paragraphs give your writing structure and meaning. They help readers to make sense of your writing. One of the things that people find tricky is knowing when and where to change paragraph. Here's what you need to know. Knowing when to begin a new paragraph can seem tricky. Some people just begin a new paragraph every few lines or so in the hope of getting it right. But there are reasons for changing paragraphs and you can learn these easily. Use Tip Top. Here's how Tip Top works. TI equals time. This really is as simple as it sounds. When you move on in time, move along in your paragraphs. Here's an example. Let's imagine that we have bought a faulty fridge freezer and are writing to complain about this. We've already started our letter and moved on to the main event. I bought the Freeze 0900 in January last year. The story we are telling begins in January. Paragraph 2 would explain all about what happened in January when the Freeze 0900 was bought. In February, I rang the store where I had bought the fridge. We've now moved on to February and what happened next. So, we change paragraph to paragraph 3 as we are moving forward in time. A replacement freezer was delivered in March. The saga is now continuing into March. So, we change paragraph again to give us paragraph 4 as we are moving along in time. This will carry on until we reach our final concluding paragraph. Place P equals place Change paragraph if you start talking about a new place. TO equals topic. Topic means the same thing as subject. When you move on to a new topic or the subject changes slightly, then it's time to change paragraph. Here's an example. Let's say you are writing an essay about raising the driving age in the UK. You have thought of three separate main points to talk about. Here's how your writing might look. Paragraph 1, Introduction. This essay will consider the reasons why the driving age in the UK should be raised from 17 to 21. Paragraph 2. Main point 1. Teenage drivers are not mature enough to handle the pressure of driving on busy roads. Your first main idea talks about the maturity of young drivers. Paragraph 3. Main point 2. Drivers under the age of 21 are easily distracted. Your second main idea talks about how young people are distracted by text messages or the radio. Even though generally we are still talking about young drivers, the topic has changed slightly, so we introduce a new paragraph. Paragraph 4, main point 3. At 17, drivers don't have a full understanding of the consequences of their actions. Your third main idea discusses consequences and how young drivers don't really understand how serious their actions might be. Again, we are still talking overall about young drivers, but the topic has changed slightly, so we introduce a new paragraph. So, a piece of writing will be talking about the same topic overall, but there will be different things to say about that topic. Each time the subject changes, the paragraph changes too. P equals person. Change paragraph when you introduce a new person, or change from one person to another. This is useful to remember if you are writing something that has direct speech in it, such as a story or article. Let's look at this example. In the second section, starting I like fashion, we have introduced a new paragraph when Joe starts to speak. Think of Tip Top to help you remember when to change paragraphs. Use a plan. Another thing that can help you change paragraph is to use a plan. A plan helps you to come up with lots of ideas and then put those ideas in a sensible order, i.e. a logical sequence. It is a good idea to number your plan. Each time you change your number on your plan you can start a paragraph. Easy. So. Why do we need to be able to write in paragraphs? If you do not write in paragraphs, then it is very difficult for your reader to follow your writing. A huge block of text, i.e. one that is not written in paragraphs, is off-putting to the reader. It looks to the reader like they are being given too much information if all of the text is written in one big chunk. Paragraphs give your writing structure and make the business of reading easier. Writing is all about communicating and paragraphs are a key part of making yourself understood. And of course, at work you could be writing letters, care plans, reviews, emails, forms, information sheets. The list is endless and it will be expected with all work-related professional documents that paragraphs are used.